you want to know why these are one of the most popular four piece bars on the market? Today we're going to do an explain and review on the Colt Quattro four piece bars. Like always, we're going to tell you later on in this video how you can win a bunch of free stuff from our shop, uh, also a free bicycle. We're going to tell you all the specs about these bars and we're going to tell you where you can buy these bars. So yeah, Colt's uh, been coming through tough with these four, four piece bars called the Quattro bars. Uh, the name is derived from the Mexican word of four, so that's where Quattro means, is uh, four piece bars, which is kind of cool. Uh, another thing is, is that these are one of the, the few four piece bars that come in chrome. So I think that has a lot to do with, with being really, really popular. And they come in some unique sizes. Uh, this bar comes in an 865, a 9 inch, and a 965. Uh, for some reason, the 965s do pretty well, probably because it's in between like a 9.5 and, and like a 10. Uh, some people don't want to go all the way up to a 10. So having a 9.65 inch bar makes it kind of nice because it's halfway in between. And uh, just makes it, makes it kind of a unique size. Uh, but uh, th these bars have a, uh, actually been changing a little bit. I noticed a couple different features on this bar that, that has changed. Uh, first off, if you look closely on the side of this bar, it has a bunch of uh, markings right there. Um, that is mainly to, to cut your bars. So it looks like they're in like a quarter inch or eighth inch, uh, you know, I mean sizes. Actually, it looks more like a quarter inch. But uh, these bars come in 30 inches wide. And a lot of, a lot of riders that, that are riding pretty avid, they like to have a custom sized bars. I've had a lot of people say, hey, you don't know how wide your bars are, da, 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 what does it matter? But when you do ride it, it does matter because the farther these things are sticking out, then when you bar spin, it takes longer for that thing to go around rather than having it in a, in a, a less wide handlebar. Um, similar to like a ballerina, you don't see her sticking out her arms when she's trying to do a twist. I don't know what the name is, but um, if she's trying to spin really fast, she, she creates a tight vertical um, uh, position and it causes her to spin faster. So um, same thing with, uh, with, uh, with uh, ice skating and stuff like that, if you've seen them ice skate. I don't really watch it, maybe you guys have, but when they, when they get in a tight formation, it causes them to spin a little bit faster. So that's a big reason why a lot of people cut their bars. Uh, also too, just doing like X-ups and stuff like that. You're gonna you're gonna want to have less bar here, especially because a lot of guys they end up riding their handlebars really tight in, and uh, just just makes it a little easier to twist up the bars. So if you have a lot of extra bar, it could get caught up on your t-shirt. Uh, it can make it a little bit harder to, to twist the bars all the way up. But uh, I think that's a really cool feature that that Colt added to these handlebars, um, which is which is pretty sweet. Uh, if you want to know if these bars are actual Colt handlebar. Don't get suckered by some of those guys that are out there just slapping stickers on bars and trying to rip other kids off. That's not cool, but to kind of help protect yourself, uh, they, they have the actual engraving or it's like a stamp on here. So it's, it says uh, Quattro 9. So if you look right there, it has Quattro 9 on there. Maybe you can see it in the video. But uh, yeah, another thing I noticed about these bars is that these bars are really, really light. I don't know the exact weight of them, but they, they do definitely feel lighter than most 9-inch handlebars in 4-piece that I've felt. Um, I think that's probably because they're super, super thin. Um, but uh, these are all heat treated, so you know they're going to hold up. Another cool feature about these bars is that they got a pretty strong angled uh, handlebar. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, I mean, the, the grip part, I don't know what the hell to call it. But uh, it's angled quite a bit. I notice it's a little bit more than most bars. So it creates this crazy V pattern right here. And uh, they have it capped off really well. And then uh, it's welded really, really nice. So that's super, super cool on that part. It gives it a kind of unique style. Uh, I've seen some that were, were open and stuff like that. They whistle when you roll bomb a hill or something like that. But uh, it gets kind of annoying. So having them capped off makes it real nice because no water gets in there. If you drop your bike, there's no dirt or grime getting in there and eventually getting your grip. But uh, very, very cool. Another thing is, is that this, this neuro on this handlebar looks pretty gnarly. Looks a lot gnarlier than, uh, than most handlebars. So you know it's going to grip really, really well. But uh, if you notice, even on the, the neuro line and on the position of this, it's almost dead, it's pretty much dead center. So 
just having that, you know your bars are square, you know these are straight. Uh, just a really, really cool, cool bar. Um, if you look at this crossbar, this crossbar isn't the same 7 8 handlebar size on this, and 7 8 I mean by like the diameter of this bar. So uh, this bar is actually slightly smaller. It could be probably, I think it's 5 8 or something like that. Yeah, probably 5 8 <laughs> Um, not really thinking about math right now. I'm thinking more about like BMX handlebars and stuff like that. But uh, it, it's pretty big, but it's not too big. It doesn't look cheap. I think the bigger size, seven eighths all the way across, makes it kind of cheap. Um, definitely because they got to buy multiple different size bar bar tubing. So you know they they actually have a specific bar crossbar that they have to create not notch and and weld up and everything. But um, if you want to know if your handlebar is a good quality bar or it's not. Uh, definitely take a, a look at the welds. If you look at these welds here, they got some good dimes on there. Dimes are pretty much what welders call like a perfect weld and they look kind of like a, a stack of dimes just laid on top of each other and they're like knocked over and they're all kind of uniform. So the more uniform that those, those dimes are, the better welder that is actually welding the bar and the better that the weld's gonna actually hold up. So you're going to actually get a little bit stronger handlebar with somebody welding it, welding it, knowing what to do. If it's too hot or if it's uh, too cold or anything like that, or the voltage is wrong, um, the, the bar won't bond very well and it won't actually bond the, the two pieces of metal together. So if you have a crappy welder, no matter how good quality of uh, tubing or material you have, uh, the bar is still not going to be welded together properly and you're going to have a, a defect on that. So um, super, super cool that, that Colt has somebody manufacturing these really, really well. Um, another thing is, is that it's got the Quattro uh, sticker right there on the, on the handlebar. And then it's got this other cool Colt uh, sticker on the crossbar. I don't know, most of all, I just think this bar is really, really cool because it's got a really tight box on it. So, you know, I mean, who doesn't like a tight box? I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you viewers do. Um, maybe some of you guys don't even know what that is, but um, but no, I think it's very cool because if you're doing turn downs and stuff like that, um, you're trying to do like I don't know tuck nut handers, uh, you're doing bar spins and stuff like that. Like I said, narrowing the, the box or narrowing down the, the material inward will create the bars to spin a little faster. You don't want like a big giant square like that because it looks kind of dorky. And that's kind of how you can tell like a bar is really cheap. It, they they don't really know what like looks good they're just trying to mimic whatever lifestyle we got going and then they try to feed off of that and i mean feed themselves and by by mooching off our, our lifestyle and basically just making a cheap bar a lot of you guys fall for it um if you guys are buying the cheap handlebars and stuff like that realize that um they probably don't have a bmx team uh they probably aren't manufacturing them very well and they're just trying to mass produce and bring them over here so they look like Four piece bars now that it's cool but they never had the balls to actually make four piece bars back in the day when they were nobody wanted them it takes really really you know i mean dope humans like like this that that just create their you know I mean, something unique and they actually put some quality into it and they actually support the, the sport and i think that's really cool because you can definitely tell um by how these handlebars are made and that's why we carry them and if you want to ride some of these bars um definitely support colt and support uh, what they're doing. They're doing a really cool uh, job of producing good quality products and trying to help out a lot of their team riders and stuff like that. That's the one big reason why we support them. Um, Robbie and Nick and Javier, Joe, and uh, there's tons of other dudes, but those ones are off the top of my head. They're just killing it out there. They're working night and day. Um, some days they work on weekends when they get uh, shipments in so that they can get them to you guys very, very quick. Um, shout out to all those dudes for, for holding it down and, and just doing something cool for BMX and doing little jams and stuff in their alley and you know, I mean, renting projectors and you know, I mean, stuff like that, giving away a bunch of free stuff, um, supporting a lot of the, the guys in the scene. But uh, definitely, definitely cool what they're doing. Uh, we definitely support them. And uh, if you're trying to support a cool brand too, that is not just cool because they're cool, it's because they're actually giving back to BMX and not just mooching off of it. Definitely support these guys and um, help them out to get to the next level, do with what they're trying to do and ride BMX, make cool BMX parts and just have fun. But uh, you can support them by buying it from our website at stackbmx.com. Um, we sell these, these bars and touch a ton of other bars. 
All the bars on our website fit any of the stems on our, our website, any of the grips, any of the bicycles. Uh, they fit 99% of your guys' bikes that are out there. Uh, they pretty much fit any complete bike. Uh, yeah, they just we have a website where it's really easy to just uh, go on there, pick something out, and then it's gonna fit your bike. A lot of the stuff is compatible with everything. So it's real easy for your parent to go on there, uh, shop online for you, and then um, actually buy it for you without you having to say, hey, don't buy this, and it's not gonna fit. You go, hey mom, everything on there is dope. Go check it out. But um, yeah, definitely thanks for supporting us. We've been super, super busy. I haven't dropped any videos for the past couple of days, and that's because I've been packing a lot of orders, getting a lot of stuff in line. Uh, we've been changing a lot of stuff here at the store prep. Uh, we're changing it into more of a walk-in warehouse where you can buy stuff and, and get, get it for the same price as online. So I've been working really hard to do that. And then we also started doing their service center so that if you need your bike worked on and you want it done now, you can bring it on in and we can work on your bike and stuff like that. So we've been doing a lot of cool stuff here, trying to support BMX and um, yeah, just support us by stopping by our shop, buying some stuff from us, ordering stuff, having patience and just riding bikes, having a good time, telling other people to come here. But uh, we appreciate that support and the way we're also gonna tell you that we appreciate you is we wanna give some of you guys uh, some free stuff too. So we're really, really close to getting 1,000 subscribers. So at 1,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away a free parts package from, from a bunch of the brands that we carry here. Um, at 5,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away a free bicycle um, retailed at $300 and shipped to you free of charge from our bike shop once we hit 5,000. Um, and the way you enter is just like this video right here. Um, share it if you can, if you have a blog or uh, Facebook or anything like that, share it, say, hey, follow these guys, these guys are dope. Uh, uh, also, we want you to comment below and we want you to turn on your notification bells. But the main thing to enter is to actually comment below because that's how we're gonna pick somebody that subscribes to us. So we're gonna look to see at all the comments. Uh, just tell us what you like about our videos, what you don't like about our videos, what we could do new in the future, what tech tips we could do because at 1,000 subscribers, we're gonna do some tech tips and stuff like that. So I wanna have some ideas of what we can create and what we could um, actually film and, and do for you guys. So drop us a comment below. Let us know what you guys want to know how to fix your bike, and we'll I'll start making those videos, um, more in-depth videos, uncut, just real live, me telling you exactly how to do it, and uh, yeah, just trying to have fun. And uh, yeah, but make sure you leave that comment below. Let us know anything you wanted to let us know, and that enters you into the contest. So we're about 70 subscribers away from actually hitting the thousands. So. Better start commenting now, and make sure that you comment on a lot of the other videos that we posted too, even the writing videos, because you never know, when we're scrolling down, we might select a writing video, there could be just one comment on that video, and that guy might win, so if you didn't comment on the writing video, that might be you, and uh, you might not win. So make sure you comment on all our videos, show some love, uh, show basically, uh, you know what I mean, just what you, what you like and what you don't like. But uh, yeah, thanks for the support. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. And uh, yeah, thanks for supporting Stacked.